Jen Dobri and welcome back. I am your host with the most, Polski Piwo. Have a look. I brought every Polish beer in Poland that I came across. If I go through the list and I have not tried a Polish beer that you know of, let me know in the comments. In this Polish beer test, I'm going to try them in see-through plastic cups so you can see the differences and how they look and we can compare the colors, not only just how they taste, but I will drink them in the bottle because I prefer drinking beer from the bottle. Let's get on with the video. Let's try the beer. Let's start with the first beer, Polish beer. I'll start with Lech. It has 5% alcohol and it is from the Wiko Polska region in West Poland, Poznan. Right, let's try it. Smoky. The beer is smoking. <laughs> Lech, this is quite popular in England. I usually see beer cans of Lech laying around or beer bottles. Nazdrowie, Lech. Good beer and it's refreshing. That's the colour. It's quite foamy. You can see it's a little bit dark. It's a bubbly beer. On to the next one. Perla beer. This has a percentage of 6% alcohol. Wow. And Perla beer is from Poland, obviously but from Lubin and it is established in 1846. Let's try it. Bubbly beer. Foamy. Looks like I'd probably need to wait for the bubbles to go down a little bit. As we are for a few seconds, you could let me know who likes bubbles on their beer. Nazdravia. No. Honestly, I don't like this beer. It tastes bitter. Maybe because it has 6% six per six alcohol, for me, it's not hasn't got that flavor, which I like. Not a nice taste. It's not really refreshing. It's too, too bitter. That's the color. My opinion, it tastes bitter with a combination of sweet. And as I go along these beers, if you have tried any, let me know in the comments and let me know your opinion of Polish beer. Do you like any of these beers from my selection what I tried today? Moving on to the next one. Waka. And this has 5.2% alcohol. Right, let's try it. Waka. I wonder if I would like this one. So far, I've liked only one Polish beer. They're all bubbly and foamy. Worker Brewery is one of Poland's oldest breweries from 1478. It's too sweet. A little bit bitter. You can have a look at the colour. I don't like that, that beer. On to the next one, Tiski. And this spear was made in Poland and it was established in 1629. 
Tisky, it's quite a popular drink I usually see in England as well. Mostly in other European countries, it's quite rare to come across Polish beer. And I'm usually used to drinking beer at a volume of 5% of alcohol. And most of these Polish drinks are usually higher. So, and they taste quite bitter and sweet. This beer has 5.2%. It says, Groni, Made in Poland, Sustery Wakey Wazinia Wotichak. All right, let's get on with it. Tiski comes from a brewery located in Tichy. I hope I'm saying the pronunciations right. Remember to let me know if you like Polish beer and what is your preference. Nazdrowie. Okay. This beer I like, Dobre Piwo. It's a little bit bitter. It's not too bitter, but compared to the rest, good beer. And it tastes quite refreshing. I like it. On to the next one. Next beer. Zubo beer is a Polish beer brewed by Kompania Piwowska SA. Produced in Dojedi and it was established in 1968. It has 6% alcohol and it has a Polish bear on the front. Do you have bears in Poland? Let me know. It's raining just a little bit, but that's not going to stop me from drinking beer. <laughs> Nazdrowie. Let's see if it's Dobre Piwo. It's still a little bit strong and a bit sweet, and it tastes similar to the rest, which I've had, maybe because they have a little bit similar percentage of alcohol, the only difference in them which I've tasted was the lech. The lech tastes a bit more like watery, should I say, not so strong. It's not my preference of beer. It's not what I would personally buy. Don't take it personal if I don't like the beer. It's just not my choice. It's too sweet and strong, bitter. The beers which I'm usually used to, they are like a lot clearer. They have like a different color, especially the beers that I go for. This beer has like more of an orange, a darker orange color. On to the next one. Zhiwiec. Zhiwiec beer is one of the largest and biggest beer producers in Poland. And it was established in 1856 and it comes from the town called Zhiwiec. And it has a percentage of alcohol, 5.6. Nazdrowie. So many sweet beers and they taste similar. And the color looks like this. This one I noticed didn't have much foam, but I can still see it's bubbly. Interesting bottle though. It's got the Polish man and woman on the front, which is the trademark for this beer. And they are wearing the Polish national outfit. For me, again, it's not a beer that I will go and buy in the shop. It tastes a combination of bitter and sweet, just like the rest. Definitely. I'll tell you what, I am going to feel a, a little bit drunk after this. And I reckon for me to get drunk, it will take about 15 beers. How about you? Let me know. I reckon 15 beers for me to get drunk because I'm not a lightweight. Two, three beers is not enough. 
And plus, because they have high percentage, you know, it's not like 5%. They all have over 5% volume. On to the next one. Next beer, Tatra. And the reason why it is called Tatra is because the Tatra Mountains, which is in Poland and Slovakia, because of the border in between. All right. So this beer has a volume of 5.8. Whoo! Why do they have so, why do they have so much volume in these Polish beers? Like they really want the Polish people to get drunk, right? But I bet you get your money's worth. <laughs> All right, so it has like, as you can see, two people walking up the Tatra mountains, say maybe two Polish hikers walking up the mountains, you can see here, and it says, Z Wolnocy, something like that. Jasnie Pełnie. Polish is hard to read, seriously, and they have the W, the pronunciation is, is quite mad. And it says, Loteria 2022. Nazdrowie. Oh, no. Nah. I don't know why they all taste sweet and bitter and they taste like, like soapy, like a strange taste in my mouth. It's not really refreshing. It's not beer that I would like to buy and say I enjoy drinking from Poland. It's too strong. In my opinion, I think it's because of the high percentage of alcohol in each one of these beers, which I have tried. That's why I think, for me, it is too strong. And looking at the colour, they all have a similar colour. I don't like this one. Tastes too funny. Not a nice refreshing taste, not for me. On to the next one. It's not a beer I would drink on the Tatra Mountains. <laughs> Castellan, which has 4.6 alcohol and this beer now belongs to Carlsberg. And I remember Carlsberg from when I was younger, especially in England when I was growing up. Like there was a few beers that I knew of and Carlsberg was one of them. I didn't drink them when I was younger, it's just that I saw these bottles and they stood out to me the most for some reason. Has a, well, looks like a, a Polish in the old times drinking the beer with the old, old style hat. Nepastryzowani leki lagodni smak. I guess that means it's time to drink the beer. <laughs> I don't know. Nice job, yeah. Again. Although this is a low percentage in volume, it's not for me, it tastes sweet. I don't think it's as dark as the rest that I have, but it still looks similar to the rest. It's foamy, it tastes a bit bitter. This beer is not for me, on to the next one. Jivietz. Jivietz is one of the largest beer producers and breweries in Poland. And it's similar to the one that I tried, this one here, and it was established in 1856. And this one has a percentage of 11.6 volume. Oh my, 11.6 volume. I've never heard of a beer, 11.6. I've never tried a beer with 11.6 volume before. I'm excited. I reckon this will be bitter and sweet, but let's see. Looks quite fruity. So, Jibiets 
Shgola Piwowalska. Biale. And it has some wheat on the bottle. This beer looks really cloudy, as you can see. It does not look clear. Nazdra beer. This tastes strange. This tastes like everything. This tastes like fruit. This tastes bitter. This tastes sweet. This tastes like wheat. This does not taste like nothing I would buy and drink. It's not refreshing. It's like, when I drink it, it's like, it tastes like a fruity flavor. Then, then it kicks in with a sweet taste. And then when I'm like, the aftertaste is bitter. Cloudy color. You can't really see through the cup and it has some foam on the top. Not for me, don't like this beer. Maybe this is just to get drunk, not for the taste. It's not about the, the taste, it's about the percentage. How drunk the Polish people can get from 11.6 volume. That's a lot for a beer. I wonder how much this cost as well for 11.6 volume. Okay, on to the next one. So these ones are the same from the same brewery. Kaziats Jitze. I don't know why are even the beers so even hard to pronounce. They come from the same brewery, same com company. They just different flavor lager beer. And I can see they have a different color. So it will be really interesting, especially for from these ones, from this selection, to see them in individual plastic cups. So I'm going to try this one first. 4.1% volume, that's not that strong. And it's a Cherry L. It looks red. Right. This looks like a bottle of royalty, a royal beer. <laughs> it looks like this is a, actually this looks like a castle. I can see like a bridge here, some buildings. Wonder if this is like a castle somewhere in Poland or where this beer is originally from. Now time to try the beer. Ooh, red beer? Fruit ale. Okay, interesting. Who's had red beer before? <laughs> nice job, yeah. What an earth is this? Do people drink this in Poland? Whew. That tastes like soap. That tastes like magnesium, iron, acid. I don't want that, no more. Never again I would try this beer and I hope the next ones don't taste like this. It's just too sweet. It tastes like cough medicine, cough syrup. No. But I would like to just tell you more details because it will be really interesting. Wait, one second. Cherry, cough medicine, bubbly, sweet. And that's the color. No foam. You can see it just looks like a fizzy cider, whatever you want to call it. Not nice. On to the next one. This is the same one, but different. IPA, Indian Pale Lager. This one is 5.4%. Oops, look, I'm trying to open it the other way now. now. <laughs> Drunk. We're having problems opening the bottle. This one, whoo, that smells so sweet. What does that, oh my, that smells weird. That smells like perfume, that smells not nice. Oh, that is not nice. 
It's so sweet. It's the sweetest beer that I have tried from the whole selection so far. And it's really bitter. It's not refreshing and it's strong. And that's the color. On to the next beer, 4.9, Zlote Pschnitsch. <laughs> Kurva! <laughs> Who cares? Cloudy and dark, it looks. Doesn't smell nice. Okay, considering from the this beer family, which I've tried so far, this one is not as bad as the rest, but the other ones are some naughty beers. They don't taste good, but this one, all right, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. This one is okay comp compared to the rest but it's not a beer that I like because it's too strong, it's sweet, it's bitter. You can see, really cloudy. And they don't really smell like a nice beer because beer does have a smell. You can smell beer and each beer has like its own individual smell and it's like really sweet. You can smell the sweet smell. On to the next beer. Churwani Lager and it has 4.9% and this one has a different background. This place looks like some place of royalty, like a castle somewhere in Poland. And maybe this was the Polish king that brewed the beer. Maybe it's his company that started making this beer. Ooh, this one looks kind of a darkish a red color. Nazdrabie. So Chowani means red. So it's a red lager. Nazdrabie. No, I don't like it. This one just tastes bitter. It hasn't got a sweet taste. And I know you can probably see like little bits of rain dropping on me now, but I don't really care at the moment. <laughs> it's a red. Yeah, I saw it from the beginning as I poured the beer. It looked red. It tastes bitter. It's not refreshing. Not for me, I don't like it. Final beer. 14 beers I've tried from Poland. And this one is going to be sweet because I can see the honey on the front. Slodki Konkurs, this is going to be really sweet. And I guess this is like produced somewhere in Poland. Like maybe some Polish bees helped create this, this beer. Who knows? Let's try this last beer in the rain. It's not raining that much. And this beer is 5.2%. It's raining, it's pouring. <laughs> I feel good though. Oh, this looks like Coca-Cola. That looks so cloudy. What does that smell like? That smells like, that smells like rum. That smells like a brandy. Honey, once again, bitter. It doesn't taste sweet. It just tastes like really dark beer. It's got that honey flavor. It's really bitter, not good. For having like the extracts of honey inside, I would expect it to be like a nice orangey color, you know? The bottle just looks like totally dark have a look and all of these are polish beers i can't believe it is there any other polish beer out there because it seems like i have tried every polish beer and 
I don't like any of them. For me, my preference is a light beer. They're really strong. They're like a 1415, number 1415. And they're sweet and bitter. So, my favorite beer, 14 beers. And this is my favorite. Dosvidenia. Nazdrobier. <sighs>